Stories, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, A-Guy, back with another reaction video. Before we get into this, you know what to do. Turn me up. Lock on me on Twitch. You know how to do this you're on the Twitch. I feel great. This is news. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, nigga. Just keep Okay, so he and J. Cole are competing for the number one slot on a billboard. And when I say that, I mean Ye and J. Cole are competing for the number one slot with their features on Drake's For All the Dogs album. You know, pointless conversations like this come up all the time when goats do their things. Updated Billboard Hot 100 predictions for Drake's For All the Dogs tracks. Chart dated October, what? 21st number one first person shooter with 345 whatever points number two with 297 i don't know points and the rest you see what's going on here but then you go over here as of yesterday drake and yeet i don't give a f was the most streamed song on the for all the dogs just surpassing him and jaco's first person shooter Mm. So Yeet yesterday had 4 million, 8, 4 million 81,415 streams. And yesterday, Jayco had 4,074,061. You know, overall, still good numbers. W for Drake. You know what I mean? And W for these artists of being on a platform like this and being able to show out and go absolutely crazy. But what I think is crazy is the fact that Yeet might have one of the number one songs on Drake's album, and he carried. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. That's major. That is major stuff right there. Boom. What we got here? Can't believe we really live in a time where Ye has the biggest song on a Drake album. We really want. For all the dogs, 10 8 2023, which is yesterday, highest Spotify streams. Wow. He's even doing better than Slime You Out. And I'm going to be real with you. I've been listening to Slime You Out and Amen and Away From Home more than anything. And to see where the people are really at, it's crazy. But that's only because I think that comes from the fact that I'm really just an OG Drake fan. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of the youngins don't listen to Drake. They listen to Yeet. A good amount of the youngest don't listen to Drake. They think he's just too old or he's too ancient for them to listen to. But it's not It's not a lot of them because it's Drake, you know? Nah, word. Speak on that. The J. Cole and Drake song was them going toe-to-toe -to -toe with verses, but Yeet just went crazy by himself for real. And like... Not only that, like, the world always wanted J. Cole and Drake, not J. Cole and Yeet. The world knew J. Cole and Yeet was on the way, but everybody for generations wanted J. Cole and Drake to go at it again. They tried to get them to beef, but they didn't. And I like how, I like how Drake and J. Cole respect each other enough to be able to be like, you know, I'm not, like, you know, they're saying who's the greatest me. Like how J. Cole was like, who's the greatest me, Drake or Kendrick? You know, he said, but he's, but he says he feels like Muhammad Ali. You know, but then again, there's Mike Tyson and, you know, all types of shit, all types of boxing legends in this shit. But I like how they respect each other enough to like, you know, claim their spot in this shit on the same song. That's cool. But fuck all that. Yeet surpassed everything they had to talk about, which is pretty crazy. And a number one for Yeet. Has he had a number one before? Pretty sure, right? I wouldn't doubt it. It's Yeet. It's Yeet. He's had number one before? No. His first number one being the top song on Drake's album. At the same time, too, I feel like a lot of people got to understand Drake Drake and this album. It was kind of, he did a lot of new things. You know, it was catered to the new audience, like letting Cash Cobain produce having songs produced by Benny X, having Yeet on the album. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it wasn't really aimed to please Drake fans, in my opinion. But it did. If you're a real Drake fan, it did. I mean, it, honestly, it's I don't know. Drake has so many, so many fans and so many levels to this Drake shit. Because it's like, if you're a real Drake fan, you might hate this new stuff that he's doing for the new school fans. But if you're also a real Drake fan, you're gonna accept it and just go with it and run with it. W E, W J Cole, overall. W album, like bro, imagine this, J. Cole's moment, he had a long career and this could finally be his number one and Yeet might just steal that. I don't think this would, uh, I don't think this would stop J. Cole and I don't think J. Cole even cares about almost going number one with this um, album, although it would be cool because at the end of the day, it's Drake's album, so... Does J. Cole really care that much if he doesn't go number one on Drake's album? I don't think so. Two, um, he was in the studio real quick and put that verse together real quick. We all know that. Um, and it, it really honestly sounded like, you know, all right, we need to respond to this YB thing. And it's about it's only right if J. Cole's on the album. You know what I'm saying? Three, J. Cole has been going crazy with these verses. It's only a matter of time before his album drops. All these features that he's on could be somewhat of a rollout for his album. I'm more than sure that uh, J. Cole is now ready to go number one because he's officially in that conversation where it's literally him, Drake, and Kendrick. You know? So, but it is a big W for Yeet. You know what I mean? J. Cole's accomplished so much and he's been in the game for so long yeah, number one is cool, but yo, J. Cole's smart enough to see through the see through the smoke. A lot of these number ones are fabricated. Uh, you know, like he'll probably go number one because he's like a like he's like the guy now. And a lot of like a, a big part of like artists and their rollouts when you're that big is like going number one with like your single release and then dropping the album, you know what I mean, to flex how big you are. So he's in that conversation now for sure. Cardi never had a number one, by the way. This would be big for Yeet. Yeah, it would be big for Yeet. But then again, as soon as that happens, then it's going to turn into, will you ever go number one on your own? You know what I'm saying? Cardi never went number one. But at the same time, Cardi's audience is, it's really catered to a specific demographic. But that demographic is large. But is it large enough to go number one? It takes a lot to go number one. Like, if Cardi goes number one, you got to understand what he's going to be up against. Who was Cardi up against when he dropped his album, when he was, you know, liable to go number one? A lot you got to go up against. He more so put on for mumble rap and solidified it with his album. Now what he does next could possibly go number one. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But it is big for Yee, and I don't want to take anything away from him. I do not. Yee is in his, he, he's having his moment right now. Drake is the GOAT. It's only right if they go number one. But the fact that it's going over J. Cole, it is impressive, but at the same time, J. Cole could have probably went 10 times harder. You know, they just hopped in the studio real quick and just did that real quick. Like shit. Recently. Sometimes, you know, they probably didn't, they probably didn't even have enough time to put out multiple tracks. Sometimes you record multiple songs, one after another, after another, after another. You let them marinate, see the one that you're going to put out there. You know, those usually become the classics. At the end of the day, I mean, ah, uh, at the end of the day, Drake and the first person shooter joining is pretty much a classic. It's all, the only thing that's missing at this point is a video. And hey, a number one. Will the industry allow Yeet to go number one over Drake and Cole? Because it would be a bigger conversation of Drake and Cole. Ah, uh, no, I can't say that. It would be a bigger conversation if Yeet went number one over Cole, but it... Mm. Let's see this TikTok. I'm, I'm debating in my head as I'm going about this. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Is this going to play a song? Because I... I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't want to get copyrighted. You didn't want to get copyrighted? Can I mute it? I'm muting it.
fuck. I say whatever I want. I do whatever I want. I kind of the money for fun. You know, popping these purges for fun. Oh, no, that's pretty funny. Anyway, what's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? When is the date determined? Is it October twenty first? Is that um money for fun? Um, is that when is it to be? When is it gonna be determined? The number one single, or whatever the case may be. Somebody let me know in the chat. I would love to see. I would love to see. How oh, I say whatever I want. Yeah. I do whatever I want. I kind of the money, money for fun. fun. You know, popping you purging for fun. Oh God. Anyways, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it isn't. Predict who you think is gonna be the number one in the comments. Your boy A God, back with another reaction video. Before you get out of here, you know what to do. Turn me up. Look at me on Twitch. I feel great. This is